Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series video. This time we're talking about the number 7 thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins. Now first of all, we only have 24 days to go until the release of Assassin's Creed Origins, just over 3 weeks. Getting closer and closer every single episode, it's almost like this is a Countdown series or something. Um, Way to point out the obvious, Tyler, thanks for that. Now, on to the number seven thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins, which is the new customization system. Now, customization is something that I've always loved within every video game. I want to be able to kind of tell my own story while I'm playing, make the character kind of a part of my own. Make, it makes me feel like when I play the game, it's different to when anyone else is playing the game. That's what makes customization systems so unique and so cool within games. And some Assassin's Creed games have nailed it. Some have done too much. Some have done just not even close to enough. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3. But that's neither here nor there. Because we're at Assassin's Creed Origins now. And it looks like they're doing some really cool stuff with the customization system, with the weapon system, with the loot system, and all the things when it comes to equipment and customization. Now they've taken the RPG style, you know, like a Witcher, like a Horizon, like a Destiny, where you have a kind of tier system to the weapons. They have a ranking system to like rare and legendary and things like that. And they have a strength value to them. And there's unique weapon items and some that are just kind of more common. And it comes to things like weapons and bows and shit like that. But it also comes with outfits and horses and all that sort of stuff like there's so much you can customize within this game more than any other Assassin's Creed game it seems it doesn't look like it's too much it just looks like it's a whole lot of different things without kind of oversaturating each thing where you're going to kind of get lost it looks like a very intuitive sort of customization system very much like a destiny is what I can compare it to when I look you look at kind of that pause menu and you see where you kind of pick your weapons and armor and things like that. It looks like very Destiny-esque, which isn't a bad thing. Destiny has a great customization system. It's very easy to navigate, very easy to use. And that makes doing side quests and side activities and things like that so much more appealing as well. Because you aren't just going to get rewarded with some random stupid collectible, right? You're going to find a specific item or a specific weapon and or you might see something uh, in a game where you're like, oh, I really want that item piece, where can I find it? Oh, you're going to complete this quest and you'll get it, or something like that. Because I'm not sure whether in Assassin's Creed Origins it's randomized, so like, you could play the game twice, but if you do the same mission, you're not going to get the same armor piece in both playthroughs, I don't know. Or if it's like a specific thing where this weapon is in this mission, or this piece of armor is in this chest. I'm not sure if that's the case, or if it's completely randomized. Uh, when you find things, how you find things, it's only based on your kind of level where it's kind of a common, rare, or legendary sort of piece. I don't know. I have no idea. But I hope it's kind of random. That's what you kind of like about Destiny. It kind of adds that grind level to it. But because Destiny is more of a replayable, you know, you're doing the same missions over and over again, that's a bit different. Whereas Assassin's Creed Origins, or Assassin's Creed in general, you're doing more of a... This is the specific side quest. This is this campaign mission. This is this temple. You know, things like that. So I don't think it's going to be quite randomized exactly. Maybe on some level it is, but in a lot of ways, you know, when you do this mission, you get this armor piece. That's just the way it's going to work. And I like that. The reason I love customization, as I said, it's about telling your own story. It's about making Bayek and the character you're playing as a bit of yourself within playing the game, which is always exciting. And it's what I'm really excited about with Origins. I can't wait to change those robes. I really don't like the Bayek robes. I'm going to be real with you. Something... No, I don't. I was going to make, like, pandering excuses. Like, well, it's kind of good. I don't like it. And I'm going to change it as soon as I can. But it looks like there's heaps of robe sets and armor sets you can use. So I'm sure there's going to be something I'll love to use. Is there any way you can make a Batman hood set? That'd be... That'd really get me out of a bind here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is why I'm excited for the new customization system in Assassin's Creed Origins. Let me know what you think of the customization system in the game. Uh, what are you excited about? Did I get anything wrong? Like, is it? do you know if it's randomized or if it's set? I don't know. You guys let me know if that's a thing. And as well, like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications as well. Uh, this is ad-free video content for your amusement and enjoyment. But if you feel like chucking me a couple bucks supporting the channel and James's channel, just head over to patreon.com slash as always. 
chuck us some money for exclusive content that you'll only get there, as well as bonus early access content, other perks, there's so much over there, just check it out. But if you don't feel like doing that, that's fine too, just enjoy this ad-free video content, and I don't know, I don't know what else to say, there was nothing else, I've said everything, just thanks for watching guys, I guess. Uh, and I totally, Tyler, why'd you hear exactly the same as it was the last two episodes? It's not because I've been changing shirts and recording this in the same exact day. That's not the case. That's not a thing. You're stupid. Thanks again for watching, guys. Okay, stop being weird, Tyler. I'll see you next time for the number six thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins.